Commander. I wish I could say I had good news, but not all of our battles fared as well as yours. The Greek front is collapsing, and Germany is all but taken. However, not all is lost. Your efforts have hampered Soviet progress in this area. The bridges you destroyed have caused the Soviets to redirect their forces through a certain mountain pass that I believe you are familiar with. They are gambling that you will not be able to stop them a second time. Prove them wrong. Stavros. Expect a heavy concentration of Soviet armor. The base you established is still standing. Get it up to speed as quickly as possible. We're counting on you to keep the Reds from breaking through. Welcome back to Command Conqueror to learn from the PlayStation. And welcome back to the Mountain Pass. Reinforcements have arrived. Here we are. This mission here starts you with pretty much nothing. They don't even give you your refinery back, which is a bit a bit weak. You do get this mine layer here, which is awesome, I suppose. But first, let me get let me get a rocket guy or two. Let's lay some mines here. There come some foot soldiers. Since we have anti-tank mines, oh, we can't really use them against the foot soldiers, but that's okay. Let's lay some mines here. And let's do something about you. Why why are you actively avoiding driving over those guys? Please don't forget it. Just just get out of there. Just get out of there. We're gonna kill you later. You can murder these guys, please. And you can do the same. And you get over here, you will shoot down the planes that are going to attack me here. Which is going to happen. There we go, told you so. There we go, and time to get our refinery up and running. That was a little bit too far south, I think, but oh well. Let's build another one of those. Oh, you are already being built, that's fine. Yeah, they start with pretty much nothing here, which is a tad frustrating, especially considering that even if you hadn't built like five refineries in the in the PC version of this, you probably still would have built a refinery. And so yeah, this is this feels a bit cheap, but it's okay. The Soviets do have heavy tanks in this mission. We only have light tanks, which doesn't really make this terribly easy, but we'll we'll deal with that. The Jeep here is pretty decent against infantry, though that's definitely going to help. But we do need anti-tank turrets against the the later There we go, now you're dead. Against the later attacks by by heavy tanks. Build you here. Get one of these here. And you can harvest there. And then we need to get up some base defenses because otherwise this is going to be a tad more difficult than it should be. Camo pillboxes are really good against infantry. The camo doesn't really work. It's not like the AI doesn't see them or anything. They're not like Command Conquer General stealth units or anything. But that's okay. I should have built you a little bit further to the north, but never mind. There we go. Another load of ore. We can refill our mine layer, but that requires us to get a service depot, which requires us to get a, a arms factory, which costs two thousand dollars. So that's that's an option, but it's not an option right now. Let's build one of these here. And let's get yet another one. And there we go. Lay that mine. We have to watch out for our harvesters because both harvesters harvest in patches that are also the entry point of of the like the Soviet assault, so that's that's a bit of a bummer, but not much we can do about the oh, low power. Yeah, I forgot how how much how much power all of this costs. But it's okay. We do have the money. And it would be easier if we had like a bunch of refineries and whatnot, but it, it's fine. But this mission is definitely a difficulty spike compared to to previous 
missions, in my opinion. Then again, the third mission isn't terribly easy either. That was not supposed to be built there, but never mind. Anyway, let's get a bunch of you. You guys can also help with the defense, but we'll see about that. You should have to get some repairs eventually. But we'll get to that too. We get to a lot of things. Time to build one of you here. And then let's build more of you. One at least two at every entrance because... Oh dear. Retreat. Yeah, you definitely need to retreat. And have those guys here run into... Into my camo pillbox. That's going to make short work of you. And let's keep an eye open for heavy tanks. Occasionally these harvesters here cheat, they deliver the, the ore from, from the northern part of the refinery, which shouldn't work, but does work. Oh, it's oftentimes actually helpful for you, so I'm not going to question it. What are you doing? Oh, you're harvesting here now. Guess that's okay. Okay, a couple more of you. The Soviets rarely come from this point for some reason. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we build there. For now, a couple more of these and then we can build an arms factory, service depot, third and fourth harvester, some... So how damaged are you? You're not that damaged. Not in regeneration mode, but that's fine. I think I need more... Yeah, I do need more power. Why do these guys cost so much power? Well, I guess they're, they're not Tesla coil power heavy, but still. And you got killed very quickly. I don't think they have regular power drops on this mission here because the these contain... I guess I can build you here. That should be fine. If I lose power plants, it's really not that big of a deal. Because these drops here contain... Grenade... What? Oh, really? You're, you're, out of, you're out of range there. That's okay. They do, they do include grenadiers, and those are not among regular, like support power para, para drops. And you got damaged. I wonder by what? Probably by your exploding friend or so. Okay, one. Nope, it's not what I want to do. One more of these here, and then we should be good for now. Then we can focus on getting an arms factory, and whatnot. Getting there, slowly but surely, mostly slowly. The PlayStation mouse seems to be super sensitive, you, but you can you can turn that down a little bit, so that's something. All right, one more power plant, otherwise we're going to have low power again. We can hang out here. And then we're going to get that beautiful war factory. There we go, 2000, fairly expensive, but it's not too expensive. Also, you should, yeah, we should be fine here. You can actually su support these defenses here, it's not like you have anything else to do. You can actually target these guys here primarily because, boom, you're so explody. Exciting. But we can get a radar, but the radar is kind of expensive and it's still going to be really small. I don't think you can zoom in because no matter what mouse button you use, you always just, always just jump to the point. But that's fine. I'm going to run out of out of ore here soon, interestingly. But okay. Also, yeah, more harvesters is what we want here. And please finish that factory. The light tanks, I do want a mobile force of light tanks ultimately because I also need them to take out the Soviet base, but they're not going to be like everything I need, really right now because they are they're fairly weak you need two or three of them to really have a chance against a, a heavy tank without much too much micromanagement even though their rate of fire is really good they actually deal more damage than i think i think per unit of money they deal more damage than a mammoth tank there we go got that and let's get another let's get another harvester or ore truck same thing because we really want that. You know what? One of you should really harvest harvest here. That just takes too long. Because we really want a, a decent income. And we also want to have a backup in case some of these guys get blown up. Because I don't realize that there's tanks in the way. Like, like this. You know what? You can harvest here. 
and I can't really engage those guys because I don't have mobile force that are strong enough, but that's okay. Alright, are you going to come for me? I guess you are. That's fine. What are you aiming at? Well, who, who cares? In any case, you get over here so you can support these guys. And that guy went down pretty quickly. Quite happy with that. Okay, yeah, you get, get definitely going to harvest up there. I don't need yet another guy who harvests too far away from my base. Even though these guys here might get exposed to, to heavy tanks at one point, but yeah, I don't want to har- Are you even harvesting? You drove over there all by yourself, so please actually mine that ore. And there's some over there as well, I didn't even notice. Alright, so far, so far so good. Can't really complain. This all feels a little bit slow, but also makes it a little bit more tense occasionally. And there's also have less of an overview because the zoom is just not as good. But I guess it's... I think it could still be more than the DOS version. At least it seems I can see more because the sidebar is actually... Like the Tiberium Wars floating sidebar. So I suppose that's something. I've got some funky music in the background. I think I already said that, but never mind. And... Awesome. You just phased through that factory. I will acknowledge that. And yeah, so far so good. Where are the Soviet heavy tanks? I'm mightily scared here, because I don't want them to all show up at the same time. But we shall see, shall see about that. Yeah, I'm just driving around all the time because I don't really have an overview here. I could build a radar, but it's expensive, it costs power, and it only gives you so much of an overview, really. So I'm not going to bother with that too much. And we're almost done with the ore here, so that's something that we, we definitely have to have a force protecting this ore field here, otherwise it's just not going to go anywhere. But we need a good force for that because... I should probably fix you. Why did you not collect more? I don't know. Maybe there wasn't actually anything left. There we go. Well, that wasn't true, was it? But that's okay. I don't think I need two harvesters for that measly amount of ore. So let's just have you harvest this. And keep an eye on the rest of the map here. There we go. Get you over here, and yeah, we're just going to put a, a, a light tank force here, and then hopefully we can harvest in a little bit of peace. Maybe build a second arms factory to speed up production and for safety reasons, and then we can. Unit ready. There we go. Yes, sir. Then we can build up our strike force. Okay. Retreat. So two heavy tanks. That's a bit too much. Those can actually destroy destroy a harvester in an okay amount of time yes, but that wasn't really too much damage you can deliver because you can kind of hang out here are you actually going to attack oh you're waiting for backup that's okay that's annoying but it's okay we're kind of running low on ore here aren't we but that's okay we may as well harvest the squeeze out Ready. All the ore we can get. And can you please attack so I can kill you and turn back to harvesting? Would that be possible? I don't want to come after you, I don't have enough stuff for that. Vehicle okay, you stay here. Come Unit on guys, ready. don't just don't just hang around there. Yes, sir. Oh well. Yes, Let's gather our tank force here. I will come after you eventually. You can believe me that. And if it does cost me some light tanks, then so be it. What are you doing? Please don't do that, what, whatever you're doing there. Please, just, just come back home. Thank you. And... You stay here. No, not you. You stay here. 
That's better. Yeah, you attack my construction yard. That's actually a nice damage sponge here. And you attack these guys here because that's what you're good for, camo pull box. And... That should do the job. Okay, finally everybody, everybody harvest. Everybody harvest, that's the theme here. Actually going to put you here because I'm sick of withdrawing my harvesters. You should be strong enough to withstand an attack or two. Even even if you get get yourself get yourself damaged or killed a little bit. Well, damaged or killed a little bit, that's a that's a great sentence, isn't it? Yeah, I've got six here now. I think about probably something like twenty for the attack, because I don't want to do it a second time. You can still score a strategic victory, even if you don't have a tactical victory, by destroying, obviously, Harvesters or maybe their construction yard. And the Soviets don't have defenses that are too strong. They do have flame turrets, but they won't... When did you get yourself damaged? I don't know, but I should probably fix you. Good thing I built you there, because I paid zero attention to that. You please get out of the way. Awesome. You can just stay here as support. You get over here and more light tanks, please. And more kick ass music in the background as we like it. And this, I think this fixes you first and it refills your minds as well, which I guess is awesome. Okay, so far so good. Let's drop some mines here because we can. And yeah, four harvesters should give us some decent income. And that should also allow us to defend here and then even get even more money. You, if you don't want the off, I don't know if this, this game has spreading or as in this version here. Maybe it has, maybe it doesn't. Who knows? They never really explained that in universe. I mean, it's like Tiberium, obviously, but the, the spreading ore is really, that is super weird. And really I'm low on ore here. I should explore a little bit with you whether the, the Soviet ore field has been regenerated. Who knows? You can just kind of go down here. Let's get more of you. And... To be honest, the pathfinding in this game for 1996 is actually pretty decent. I've played some other 90s classic, well, cl classic in the sense that they're old, not necessarily good. RTS games, and some of them, even games that are four or five years older, or younger, depending on how you look at it, they have, definitely younger, what am I talking about, they have absolutely atrocious pathfinding. It's really bad. Okay, so you're still hanging out here. But the Soviets don't really seem to throw all that much stuff at me, but uh, I'm okay with that ultimately. So we do have more ore here. It's it's, a, it's relatively far away, but at least we won't run dry. So that's something. I think we should build another arms factory. And then you can join my ore field defense force here. Yeah, the Soviets don't... Is it? It is. That's okay, it's just this one tank here that's really, that's fine. And those riflemen will arrive too late. And now they're all dead. Awesome. Yeah, this doesn't look all that bad actually. Let's maybe get that other arms factory run up and running here. And then we can assemble our strike force. Come on, almost there. We should probably get that radar. It's not that expensive and we do have the money. Here we go. And there's some grenadiers, but enough tank shells will kill a human. Which are otherwise highly resilient in that regard. But I guess it's, it's a balanced system. I guess it doesn't really represent that these guys here literally can't be killed by a tank shell. I think it's more that they generally, you don't really use a tank shell against infantry. You can do that, but I think the idea is more that 
if you want to fight infantry, especially if they're like hidden and whatnot, you don't really use tank. That's not maybe your, it's not you really your first choice, is it? You should get yourself fixed. And let's get more tanks. And even more tanks. And then we're going to we're going to make our first move soon. There we go. So we're now harvesting here. So it's going to take a while. We could harvest this, but I don't really it's not going to make that much of a difference. Yeah. Is there more is there more ore in the PC version? Because I don't recall ever having to harvest there, but you know what, whatever. Doesn't really matter all that much, does it? And here we go. I think I'm just going to build until I run out of money, then maybe I'm going to wait until my harvesters return once. And then I'm going to strike. Even if we lose that encounter, we should still be okay. In the sense that they won't be able to crush our base after that. Okay. Yeah, you return home. I'm going to get there eventually. Yeah, seems like this is mostly clear of Soviets. So their base is over here, I just know that. Because, oh, I've played this before, who would have known? And let's hope let's hope we can at least cripple them with the first with the first assault, even if you can't kill them. But I wonder how much how many heavy tanks they have. Because to honest, grenadiers plus heavy tanks, that's kind of the only thing that is really dangerous to our light tanks. I guess you got attacked at one point and I didn't notice. But that's fine. Another thing you can do here, you can go harvester hunting, we could do that as well, which may or may not be worth it. But you know what, that could actually be a good idea because there's a decent chance that we can lure out their units via harvester hunting, so maybe we should do that. Because you know, it's attacking the, the enemy harvesters or miners, that's kicking the hornet's nest. You don't want to do that, well actually you do want to do that, but you only want to do that if you know what you're doing. Well, so they do have some heavy tanks here, so let's just drive over here and check that. Yeah, let's actually have this guy do some more scouting. Okay, so there's even more. So there's a lot of them kind of just hanging out here. For better or worse. And you did not take a whole lot of damage here, considering. Okay, you come over here, please. And then let's maybe move out again. This time with everyone. Yeah, so that's definitely a guy who actually wants to attack our base. But that's okay with me. And... Eat tank shells. So now we have to cross this river here, which isn't really ideal, but it's okay. Yeah, they, they do have heavy tanks, but there's only... If you have a horde of light tank, there's only really so much you can do about it. Okay, you... Oh, I forgot there's no groups. Oh, damn. What did I do? Just get over here. Now you you all spread. Why did I deselect you? That was a that was a grave mistake. That was a grave mistake, but it's okay. Everybody here? Let's just try to get you all on one screen so I can actually select you. Yeah, this this isn't so bad for now. Could get some reinforcement then, but then I might actually have to like select them properly and whatnot. Also, so here's here's their base with flame turrets and stuff. So let's just crush their infantry and let's destroy some of these flame turrets. And then we can maybe crush their their barracks because I don't want them to spam grenadiers. So I th those are just annoying. And then let's kill their refinery. Yeah, I think we yeah, can definitely pull this off. This this isn't that bad. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely this is definitely enough firepower. This might even be a little bit overkill, but you know what? Better safe than sorry. And they do start rebuilding stuff, so that's good. One thing I like here is that if you zoom, if you make your selection rectangle and you actually get and you you leave the screen, so to speak, you actually still select the units. Some games don't do that. The 3D games from General Zone definitely. So you can't select more than you see on the screen, but then again, you could argue that's not as necessary because of the zoom, but whatever. Let's just keep on the pressure. Yeah, I think I could have attacked them a little bit earlier. I might have even gone away with some harvester harassment. 
but ultimately not that important. There we go. And boom. So now they sold everything, that's good. And I like that they all rush you so you don't have to search the map for every last unit most of the time. And looks like they do have some more stuff hanging around here. And oh, even their harvester attacks us, which I guess makes sense if, if I had infantry. Oh, so they did have a bunch of heavy tanks just hanging around, yeah. Why? We don't know. But I'm okay with that. And... boom. Mission accomplished. Yeah, that wasn't terribly difficult, but you really have to get your economy up and running initially, otherwise those heavy tanks can actually crush you if you don't watch out, or they can just cause like an endless cycle where you build stuff, they destroy it, you rebuild it, they destroy it, and you just don't get anywhere. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Take care, and goodbye.